Hello and welcome to the Smart Edit 6 tutorial DVD. I'm Chet Davis, Vice President of Marketing and Sales with Macrosystem US. We're delighted to have this opportunity today to help you become more familiar with editing on your Casablanca using the Smart Edit 6 operating system. Whether you're using one of our earlier digital video editors or our latest model, the first truly portable Casablanca ever, the Casablanca Liberty, we're sure you'll be thrilled with the ease of use and the creative features in Smart Edit 6 that will truly enhance your video editing experience. On this first DVD, we're going to cover the basics of the Casablanca interface, really building a project from start through finish. If you need assistance with cabling your Casablanca, with connecting to a TV, or with software installation, please see the accompanying second DVD. Along the way in this project today, you'll see on-screen graphics that will make notes of technical issues and references to take note of. If you're a long-time Casablanca user looking specifically for the new features in Smart Edit 6, you'll also note some on-screen graphics making note of these. You're welcome to fast-forward the DVD specifically to these parts. If you're ready, let's go ahead and begin building our project. All right, let's get into using this uh, great editor here. As you can see, this is uh, a Casablanca Renome, and we're running version 6, and this is Smart Edit 6, the uh, featured topic of our tutorial today. Uh, as you can see, there are a number of menu buttons within the Casablanca interface. We call this the home menu, or your main menu, from where you can access all the other specific menus that you're going to use in your project. Uh, the only other one that's specific unto itself on this screen is the off button. And yes, that button does work. If you click on that, it will power down your unit. It will save the work that you've done recently prior to shutting down, but it will shut down just as the on-off button on the front of your unit will do. Now, there are two menus, and that's the system settings and project settings, where there's some great new features uh, that were introduced in Smart Edit 6. Right now, I only want to show you the, uh, the immediate settings you're going to need to make in these two menus to get working on your first project. So first, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the system settings screen. And uh, this button here that's labeled screen, you're identifying how you're monitoring, how you're watching, how you're viewing your signal. Right now in this particular setup, I'm connected with an S-video cable coming out of my Casablanca Renome and going into the back of my TV monitor. So I have video set up. If you're using a video cable, either the composite RCA phono plug or the S-video cable to connect to a TV monitor, you want to leave your screen setting on video. If you happen to have a VGA monitor connected, what some people will call a computer monitor, and by using that multi-pin VGA connection on the back of your Casablanca, you can connect to a VGA monitor. Now, you have two different options when you connect to a VGA monitor. You can go single monitor, which means your Casablanca is going to send all of the signal to a, a VGA monitor, or if you go dual monitor, which some of our professional customers prefer. Using a dual monitor requires both a video monitor and a VGA monitor. The VGA monitor will display your menus, your screens, what some people call your GUI, your graphical user interface, and the video signal, the playback of your video uh, program, your scenes, will go on the video monitor. But for today, I'm going to go just single monitor, and I'm actually going to go back to video. One other quick note, if you're doing VGA single monitor, there are some particular software applications at this point in time that are not certified for use. Um, so please check the release notes to affirm which of those products. You can get all applications to function here in uh, single screen video. The only exception there is CB Paint. CB Paint does require the two monitor setup. The only other screen I suggest uh, adjusting or checking at this point in time as we start our project is the set time. The Casablanca has its own internal time clock and it, it will allow you to essentially put a date and time stamp on the scenes that you create in, the, in your unit. So I just suggest you check to make sure. So um, you can check the, the year, the month, uh, the date, and, and the hour as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
and we're ready to exit this screen. Now there's two ways to, to navigate through the menu. Down in the bottom right corner you can see that I have a single icon. In other screens today you'll see we have several icons to choose from. These are like shortcut icons that will move you back and forth and you can see in Smarted at 6 there's the new bubble help. If I hold that cursor over there for a few seconds it'll tell me which menu to go through and by left clicking it takes me back to that main menu. The other way is to right click. Right click will always go back to the previous menu where you came from. So we've made our quick adjustments in system settings and now we're going to go ahead and move to project settings. All right, the, the couple quick settings and changes we want to make here in project settings before we start our project is I highly recommend you, you name your hard drive. Now, hopefully you're aware if you have the, uh, the Gymnos, the Prestige, the Rename, the Rename Plus, the Solitaire, the Solitaire Plus, those particular products do have the removable hard drive capacities. And it's a good idea to name each of your hard drives. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, name this hard drive Chet Davis 1. So this is my first hard drive, and when I purchase additional hard drives and sleds, I can exchange them and kind of keep track of everything. And I'm going to go ahead and select a particular project to work on, and you can see that we have multiple projects. In Smarted at 6, the developers gave us 30 separate projects or folders to work on at any particular point in time. And uh, Smarted at 6, if I wanted to change that, uh, it's very simple and you just click in the text box and I'm going to use the keyboard to correctly spell smart edit 6. The only other the, the setting here um, is the the image size and this just allows us to put the effects correctly onto your screen to avoid any overlapping of the images and uh, to make sure that the filters, the effects, your title screens, your masks cover the full projected image on your monitor. Now, the only other setting that's imperative here is to determine whether or not um, you're using a standard format video signal, which is called the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, or if you've shot your footage in widescreen. And if your camera has the capability, you would know that you could have shot your, your, your video footage in 16 by 9, which is also known as widescreen. There's, there's 4 by 3 standard, which is the interlace scanning, traditional DV. If you've just shot on mini DV or you've shot uh, on VHS, on uh, digital 8, on super VHS, it is a standard 4 by 3 aspect ratio unless your camera has the capability to do progressive. So 4 by 3 P, okay? We also have 16 by 9, which is interlaced or anamorphic, and 16 by 9 P. So if you're doing widescreen progressive, okay? 30p, 30 frames progressively scanned, then you would want to, to select that. It's important to note that this setting will not change your footage. It simply ensures that our masks, our titles, all the things that you add in our effects screen are properly proportioned to match your footage. Today I'm working with footage that is in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, and so I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. Now for those of you who are doing work in high definition, and Smart Edit 6 along with Smart Edit 5 allows you to edit in the high definition video footage, the higher resolution. When you come to an empty project, you would simply select HDV. You can see it's the last choice on the screen here. And that will ensure that your project will conform to the widescreen high definition video footage. Please see the addendum on disc number two, on DVD number two in this set to learn more about editing in high definition video. But again, first I'm going to go ahead and click on Project Settings and go back to my Smart Edit project and begin work. So that's, th th there's some other great features in, in Smart Edit 6, um, this backup and the store, the storyboard. Uh, we're going to cover that in the addendum because I want to get you started on your first project right now. The next screen I want to touch on is Video Settings. And here you're going to tell your Casablanca how the signal is coming into your unit. Where do you have your camera or your VCR connected? Do you have it connected to the front in either the composite connector, which is that yellow connector on the front, also known as an RCA or phono jack? Uh, or you, do you have it connected to the YC connector, which some folks call the S-video connector? There are also those connectors on the rear of this unit, composite and, and YC or S-video. 
Okay? And then right now I do have my camera connected uh, to the FireWire